Breaking right now on CBS News Philadelphia at 9. Police are on scene at a barricade in Hatboro. It has an entire school district closed, and people who live nearby are sheltering in place. This is CBS News Philadelphia at 9. I'm Jan Carabello. Officers are negotiating right now with that barricaded suspect. Let's get right out to Jasmine Payute. She is live at Hatboro Police District Department there, where investigators just gave an update a short time ago. Jasmine. Jane, good morning. That's right. That press conference wrapped up not too long ago here at the Hatsboro Police Department. Details are still coming in, but we do know as we speak, officials, including SWAT, are actively working to get that suspect into custody. You can see we have video from the ground showing that. This is near Moreland Avenue, where they are asking residents to not go in that area. We're told the main objective this morning is to get this done safely without any injury. So here's what we know happened and what we were just given not too long ago in terms of information. Officials say the suspect barricaded himself inside an apartment on York Road in Moreland Avenue after he reportedly pointed a gun at people in the heart of the Hatsboro Business District. This happened around 9 o'clock last night and officials have been working all throughout the night and the morning. Negotiations with the suspect to surrender. Because of police activity, York Road is closed between Montgomery Avenue and Byberry Road. Moreland Road is closed between Penn Street and Chester Avenue. Now, residents are being asked again to avoid the area until the situation is resolved. During that press conference, the Hasbro police chief says while no shots were fired, all of this is being done as an abundance of caution. He would not release much info about the suspect, but we did ask him to describe in detail exactly how this all played out. She told us that he pointed the gun directly at her and tracked her up York Road while standing in on the sidewalk. Yeah, he was actually standing on the sidewalk, and uh, from what she described, actually, you know, tracked her with the with what she described as a handgun as she was traveling north. And according to her, there was a car behind her. She was able to see in her rearview mirror that uh, this individual this individual did the same to that car as well. As a precaution, the Hatsboro Horsham School District canceled all classes for the day. We asked the chief if a shelter in place was necessary and why one was necessary, and if residents had a reason to be concerned this morning. He says all of this is being done as an abundance of caution. He's just asking that residents avoid the area until the situation is cleared. And again, they are trying to do that as safely as possible. Details are still coming in. We will continue to keep you updated. Jan, I'll send it back to you, the studio. Tense moments there in Hatboro. Thank you so much. Much, Jasmine, appreciate it.